Hello and welcome back to another part where we will be working on the ride share application and uh, making sure the WPA features has been well applied and uh, we'll also create uh, the maskable icons. Let's start by checking the application section in the developer tools of Chrome. So here, as you can see, we don't have a service worker registered. So currently it's not a WPA application. Also, while building this React application, we have specified that we need to apply the WPA features by specifying the template uh, in Re Create React app. So the service worker here, which we already have and we checked it in last video with the with also the manifest also we made also here some changes to the manifest in JSON which is a requirement for a WPA especially if you want it to be installable on mobile and desktop now if you want to activate the service worker you need to uh, build the application so it only work on production so let's build the application by typing yarn build all right this will build the application for production and you can run the production build by installing the serve library the npm serve package globally and uh, once it is installed you can type serve dash s and direct it to the build folder all right now we can check the localhost 5000 all right so as you can see here we have a service worker registered uh, the source is from the service worker.js, of course, which is the file here, service worker.js. This is the service worker, all right? The other file here, service worker uh, registration, will register the service worker. Now, here, what is happening? First, the registration file will, if the environment we're running a production and the service worker is supported by the navigator the browser then it will proceed to register the server by waiting for the uh, document to load it will check if we are on localhost or on a online uh, server if you're on localhost it makes sure that the service worker.js is available if not, it will proceed to register the valid service worker. So here, the registration process, here it is, this is where the service worker will be registered. All right, so this will check if already there is a service worker or, or not, if it's need to be updated or installed from zero. So if it's if it's uh, if there is already a service worker here, it will inform the user that uh, the serv the new service worker won't be applied unless all the tabs has been closed. Or else, a message will be displayed saying that the content is cached for offline use. All right, this is it. So the service worker, this is the service worker. What does the service worker do? It will use Workbox and it will import some uh, library, some functions from the Workbox. First, it will run the function client claim from the Workbox core. The client claim, once the uh, service worker is activated, it will not control the current page unless it is loaded by the browser. So unless you reload the, the page, the service worker will not be, uh, will not control that page. So by running this function, 
the client's claim will uh, will allow the page to be controlled by the service worker without reloading it all right now pre-cache and route is another function from workbooks pre-caching now this function takes the list of route with a version for each route a version number now here we're using the self web manifest this uh, this function here take an array of course of the list of route here is the underscore this this constant variable here will be generated by webpack we, since we have built our application using the create react app this is taking care for us uh, the configuration of the webpack on how to build this the wb manifest so we just need to specify this variable as the parameter it will return the array will be a list of resources and their version numbers next we'll register a couple of route just with register route function from the workbox this will register routes uh, with handler two routes has been created by the create react app package uh, at the end, we'll, uh, we'll add an event uh, listener for the message. Now we have our service worker running, activated. Let's run the Lighthouse tab here. Uh, let's generate a report about our progressive web app. We, have, we can choose the mobile or the desktop as the device. So. If I click generate report, it will take a couple of seconds. So this is the generated report here. Uh, as you can see, it is installable and it is clear by the icon here at the top. So we can install now this application. It does not redirect HTTP traffic to HTTPS. Of course, we are here on in localhost. And the, the manifest doesn't have a maskable icon, all right? Concerning this point, we'll be fixing it shortly. So we'll be creating a maskable icon. All right, this is, we have one point now we can fix is concerning the maskable icon. So I will create an icon now using Adobe Illustrator and uh, export it and save it in my uh, public folder and modify the manifest dot json all right so uh, let's do this now so if i open my illustrator i have already prepared the file so this is the icon here it's 512 by 512 pixels so i'll copy it and open photoshop here in photoshop i create a new file 500 by 500 pixel and I will paste it as a pixel. So this will be our icon. Now I can export this file as a PNG. Logo 512 or Let's keep it. Let let's check the the epic logo. All right, we keep the same naming uh, pattern. Now to make this icon maskable, there is an online application that will help us here. Our our five hundred and twelve logo we just have uh, created. All right, we can use. Uh, here's the background so and choose the color we need the red color so I'll change this color so after specifying the whatever here settings you need uh, for your logo we can check that it will adapt on whatever situation all right so in the end it just it is just a PNG with the background so now let's export and use all these resolutions 
all right now after downloading logo and i'll do for the rest all right now i'll grab all of these icons and i'll go to my application folder specifically to the public and as i can see here i already have two logos that have been created by create react app and the fab icon which i won't be needing it after configuring the manifest.json all right i will replace the current logo so here is my icons okay all right next i will go to the manifest.json and i will do here some modification to customize my uh, installable app the way i uh, i want now in the manifest this short name as we specified so now for the icons as you can see we need to specify the src and the type and the sizes here it could be one or or many sizes so let's remove here the fab icon dot icon we don't need it and let's create more sizes so we have the smallest one is 48 then we have the 72 then Z96 then Z128 Z92 is already available then Z384 all right and this is the 512 already available now one of these icon will need to set it as maskable so there's a new property, the purpose, which we could set it to maskable. All right, this will tell that this icon is the maskable icon. So we can specify any one of these icon. Here I will use the this one. All right, the middle and uh, now we have uh, created our maskable icon next uh, the display will be standalone which will look like a mobile app other than standalone you have the full screen which will will show as a full screen like the app for games for example the games app for mobiles and the this is the same color and the background color so so for the background color we choose the red here which is this one this is the background color or, or uh, let's make the same color red the background color the background color will be fa 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 off white all right this is it i think we are ready to test again so we we'll build the application again with yarn build right now we run the local server all right so first let's remove the old service worker let's close this window and open it again so let's close the other tab for this application and reload all right so now if uh, let's reload a new a new service worker has been created and if i go now to the lighthouse problem let's generate a report now all right now if we look manifest has a maskable icon has been fixed only one issue this once we go online once we deploy our application we can work on this on that 
point here so for now all the point has been done so one more thing is left to test just to see how how it work is to set this application to offline so if i let's make it 75 percent now if i set it to offline here in the network i can make it offline and if i have reload all right it is still working offline now but if i go and disable this server and run it in development development mode yarn start all right and use the offline mode as you can see it will not work all right so this is good